Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been designing this scrollable tabs using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see, we can scroll to different uh, tabs over here. And you can also drag and go to different positions in this container. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your Blogger website. So instead of these uh, terms over here, we will have the labels of the Blogger website displayed over here. And I will also leave the link of the source code in the description so you can just go ahead and copy and paste it to your website. So let's get started. Right here I'm in my blogger dashboard and uh, if you go to theme, here we can see I'm using this theme called Contempo Light, which comes by default with blogger. And uh, let's see how the blog looks right now. So let's click on view blog. So this is how the blog looks right now. All right, so let's add this uh, scrollable tabs to a blogger website. So we need to make some changes in the theme code. So let's go to theme and let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And now let's go to the start of the body tag. So I'll just search for it over here. So I'll just press command F and let's tab less than body. And here we can see this is where the body starts. So here we can add our HTML code. So if I just add some text, I'll just tap testing. And if I just save this, and if you go back to our website and if I refresh this page, here we can see testing is being displayed. Right, so now let's add the HTML of our design. So I'll just delete this S3 from here and let's go to our source code. And uh, here in the HTML file, here we can see this is the HTML code of our design. So let's copy everything from this line of code till the end right here. And uh, let's paste it over here. Right now, let's add the CSS. So let's go to the CSS of the theme code. So here we can see this is all the CSS of the theme. So here at the end, I'll just make some space. And I'll just add a comment. I'll just type scrollable tabs. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style.css file. And let's copy all the CSS from here. And I'll just paste it over here. And now the next thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's go to the end of our theme code. So here just before the body ends, I'll just add a script tag and in that we will add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag over here. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And let's copy all this JavaScript from here and I'll just paste it over here. Right now let's save this and let's see how it looks. Let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we can see that the scrollable tabs are displayed over here in our blogger website. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove all these uh, terms from here and we need to add the labels that are inside our website over here. And if I click on any of those labels, we should be taken to all the posts of that label. So if you go back to the dashboard of our blogger website and if you go to posts, here we can see for all the posts we have these labels. So for the fifth post we have photography and tech. And then we have these other labels over here for all the posts. Now let's go ahead and uh, access all these labels and display them over here. So for that what we can do is we can add a widget called label which is there by default in a blogger website. So let's go to our theme code. And uh, let's click on edit HTML. Now let's go to the start of the body tag, so I'll just search for less than body. And uh, here let's add a widget. Now in the blogger code, we need to first of all add a section before adding the widget. So let's create a section first of all. For that you have to type less than b colon section. And you need to add an id for the section, so I'll just type id equals. And I'll just set the id to labels container. And let's close the section over here. And in this we will create the widget. So let's type less than b colon widget. And for the widget also we need to add an id. So let's type id equals and let's set it to label 1. And let's set the type of the widget to label. And uh, let's save it. And here we can see it says more than one widget was found with this label one ID. So I'll just change this to something else. I'll just type label three and let's save it. 
and now we can see that the theme was updated successfully and here we can see we have all this code generated by blogger and this is the label widget right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now here we can see it says labels and if we open that we have all these labels displayed over here so these are all the labels that we have in our website right now the next thing we need to do is we need to add all these labels inside this container right here so let's open the inspector and let's see how this uh, labels widget is structured so just right click over here and click on inspect and here we can see we have this uh, section with an id of labels container and in that we have this division with the class of list label widget content and in that we have all these anchor tags so this is the first label and then we have the second label over here so we have all these labels inside anchor tags so we can reference all of them by this selector we can select the anchor tags inside the list label widget content which is inside the labels container so let's go back to our theme code and here in the html i'll just delete all these uh, list items now let's go to the javascript and we'll generate all these uh, list items in the javascript right this is our javascript now the first thing we will do is we will reference all the labels so let's type const all labels equals document dot query selector all and we had an id called labels container and in that we had a division with the class of list label widget content and in that we had anchor tags and now i'll just console.log it to our website and let's see whether all the correct values are being stored so let's save this And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and uh, let's open the console and here we have this node list and if i open that we have all these labels stored inside this node list and uh, if i just type all labels and if i select the first element here we can see that the first anchor tag which is the first label is displayed over here so now what we need to do is we need to loop through all these uh, labels and we need to get the inner HTML which is uh, the content of the anchor tags and we need to add them inside this container right here. So let's do that. Let's go back to our code. Now we need to add all those labels inside a UL. So if you go back to the original code. Here we can see we have this UL and in that we have the list items. So we need to create a list item, then we need to create an anchor tag and in the anchor tag we need to add the link of the label and also the label text over here. So let's go back to our code and we'll create a function for that. But before that we need to reference the UL. So if we scroll down we have already referenced the UL over here in our JavaScript code. This is the line of code so I'll just cut this from here and I'll just paste it over here. Right now let's create a function to populate the labels. So let's create a function called populate labels. And I'll just call the function over here. Now in this function we need to first of all loop through all the labels. So we will use a for each loop for that. I'll just type all labels dot for each. And for each of the labels, I'll just give it a name of L. And let's create an arrow function. And here, first of all, we need to create an li. So let's tap const li. I'll just name it li. You can name this anything you want. Equals document dot create element. And in that, we need to add the element. So we need to have an li. So I'll just tap li. And then we need to create an anchor tag. So let's type const a, I'll just name it a, and let's type document dot create element, and let's type a over here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to set the href of the anchor tag. So here we can see we have the href. This is basically going to be the link of the labels. So let's type a dot href equals 
and we need to set it equal to the link of the actual label that we have over here we are referring to it as l over here so let's type l dot href so this is basically the label that we get from this labels widget and we are just getting the values from that so if you open this once again here we can see we have this anchor tag and we are just getting the href value from here and then we are just adding it over here to our custom anchor tag now we need to add the inner html of the labels inside the anchor tags so let's type a dot inner html equals l dot inner html and uh, now we need to append the anchor tag inside the li so let's type li dot append child a and we need to append the li inside the ul which we reference as tabs list so let's type tabs list dot append child li and now let's save this and let's see whether it works and now we can see all these labels are displayed in our container so here we can see all the labels are displayed over here now if we click on any of these labels let's click on this label right here and we can see that all the content of that label is displayed over here and we can click on any of these labels and go to the posts of that label so if i click on machine learning basics here we have all the posts with this label machine learning basics now we can simply go ahead and hide this labels widget from here using css so let's go back to the css and here in the css i just type hash labels container which is the id of our labels widget and let's type display and let's set it to none and let's save it and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the labels widget is not being displayed but all the labels are displayed inside our design right now the last thing we need to do is we need to set a different styling for the active labels so right now if i just open advanced programming concepts here this should have a different styling so if you go to the original design here we can see when we click on any of these labels we have different styling for the active labels so let's do that now for doing that we will use a data attribute so here for the anchor tags we will also add a data attribute let me just open the html here we can see we have this anchor tag and we will add a data attribute so we can just type data hyphen and any name we want and we'll just store the label inside the data attribute and then we can go ahead and easily identify it and add a different styling to it so let's go back to our uh, javascript and here when we are populating the labels we'll also add a data attribute so for that we need to type a dot data set dot and we need to add the name over here so i'll just type link i'll just name it link you can name this anything you want and we'll set it equal to l dot inner html right now let's save this and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now if you open this in the inspector here we can see we also have a data link attribute and we have the label displayed over here we can open any other anchor tag and we have the data link so we're going to use this data attribute and we're going to see whether it is the active label and if it is the active label then we will have a different styling now first of all we need to know which label is active so if we scroll down here we can see the active label is advanced programming concepts and if i just open another label so let's just open photography and now we can see that the active label is photography so we'll just inspect this element and uh, let's see what is the class of the element so here we can see we have this pan with a class of search label so what we're going to do is we're going to reference this search label element in our javascript and we're going to see which of these anchor tags in our labels list has the data attribute of this search label right here so let's go back to our javascript code here we can see we already have the code for activating the tabs which we used in our original design so what we're going to do is we'll just remove all this code from here and let's create a variable called current label and let's set it equal to document 
dot query selector and we had a span with a class of search label right now the next thing we will do is uh, we will add an if condition so we'll check whether the current label is present so i'll just type if current label and here first of all let's get the text inside this search label so let's create a variable for that and just create a variable called current label text equals current label dot inner html now the next thing we need to do is we need to get the anchor tag with the data attribute of the current label text so right now when we have this photography label active we need to get this anchor tag right here because if we inspect it we can see it has this data link of photography so let's go back and let's create a variable called current link equals document dot query selector and since we need to add this variable inside our string i'll just use back ticks instead of single quotes and if you go back to our website and if i just right click and click on inspect here we have this division of the class of scrollable tabs container and in that we have these anchor tags and uh, let's reference that so let's type scrollable tabs container a and now here in square brackets you have to add the data attribute so let's type data hyphen link equals and let's add single quotes and since we need to add this variable over here let's type dollar symbol curly braces and let's type current label text and the last thing we need to do is we need to add the active class to the current link so that it has the different styling so let's type current link dot class list dot add active right now let's save this and let's see whether it works let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now here we can see for photography we have a different styling let's open another label so let's click on technology and now we can see for technology we have a different styling so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add scrollable tabs to your blogger website now i will leave the link of the source code in the description so you can just go ahead and copy and paste it to your websites all right that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day